Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Wednesday edition again. And it's funny, as I was going through this episode, I was having a bit of a deja vu. And maybe it's because I have been talking in different ways about where you're spending your time. But today, specifically, it's time to wake up, my friends, and decide where you want to go. Uh, have a listen. Let me know what you think. If you can, on Apple or Google, just leave me a comment. That would be so outstanding. And, you know, I would love you forever either way. But leave me a message. And if you need me, just reach out. Hope you're having a great day. Take care. Hi, my friends. Welcome. This is the Back to Me podcast, and this is Heather, and I am super excited that you're here. You are going to hear some tips and some tricks and some ideas to help you live your happiest and healthiest self. I call it Back to Me because when you are taking care of yourself, Back to Me, then you can take better care of others, and we can all make the world a better place. This is Wellness Your Way, and I am super happy that you're here. Yes, we are live. Awesome. Hello. Hello. How is everyone doing? I, as always, hope you're having an amazing day. This is Heather, and this is the Back to Me podcast Wednesday edition. And in the Wednesday edition, it is quick and simple. It is something quick for you to take away with you. It is something that um, maybe can help you in some way now or in the future, it's all good, but something for you um, to help lighten up your day or lighten up your load or give you something new to think about. How would that be? That'd be awesome. And the, the topic this week, it was, um, I was listening to something and they were talking about how uh, there's, was a philosopher, I think that he was, who, made a comment at one point how many people sleepwalk through their entire lives. And of course, when something, some statement like that comes out and hits me in the head, I have to have a pause and think, wow, is that, am I doing that? How does that work? And I start, my curious self goes a little crazy and starts my uh, deep dive into it. But also, if you think about it, Friday, In a couple of short days, we will be halfway through 2022. I had to pause. It's 2022, right? Yes. (laughs) We're going to be halfway through the year. And um, it's gone for me really quickly. And when someone says, are you sleepwalking through your life? And I realize I'm halfway through the year. I do the, oh my gosh, it is halfway through the year. What have I done for the last six months? Now, I don't. I work at um, being objectively observing what's happened with the intention of um, maybe noticing something that if it wasn't what I planned to do, what, what could I have done differently? What would help me make the next six months more what I intended? Or if it would, if it turned out the way you intended, rock on with your awesome self. And that's amazing. And you're probably doing the things you need to do. So when I think about that, um, that idea of sleepwalking through my life or your life is, am I each day deciding what it is that's important and what I'm going to work on instead of the get up, do this, do this, do this, do this, and not pay any attention to what I'm doing. And this can happen often if you are doing something like, um, someone's phoning me right in the middle of my podcast. Virginia, I love you. I'll call you later. (laughs) It's coming up on my, on my phone. Um, of course, because it is real life. So instead of sleepwalking through your life, make sure that you, it's, it's okay to be consistent. In fact, I would say consistency is one of the keys to be successful, but consistency with the intention behind, what is that consistency for? 
So if I my if my intention is to um, grow my business, because um, as you know, maybe you don't know, as you maybe know or don't know, I am a coach and my intention is to grow my business to help more people. So to do that consistently, I need to do the things to support me in my to be my best self so that I can do the things to make my business healthier and to be able to help more people. Um, the, obviously the podcast is called back to me because I follow, I try to follow those, that intention as well, take care of myself so I can take uh, uplift other people. But if I found myself every day going to social media and scrolling, 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 it's like you're in a trance and a hypnotherapist actually told me that that is kind of a trance like state where you're just scrolling, 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 and you suddenly realize time has gone by. I'm just coming to mind of the episode I did on The Sims, right? You lose track of time. Time seems to be a big topic for me these days, doesn't it? Hmm. What's that? What is that message that the universe is sending me? Is this a message for someone else that they, maybe all of you, need to work on where you're spending your time? Or maybe it's for me, or maybe it's for all of us, because time is passing. So, do you have a habitual pattern that is not, I want to give you something to take away with this, right? So being consistent is important. Being consistent intentionally is more important. So if I consistently every day spend a couple hours on Facebook, that's not really the greatest for my what I want to achieve or how I want to spend my time. When I get to the end of my life, I'm not going to say, gosh, really, wish I'd spent more time scrolling social media. I'm probably going to say, I wish I hadn't spent so much time scrolling and I had spent more time doing A, B, fill in the blank, right? So the first step to decide something, to decide to make something different is to realize that you want something different, right? So an awareness of what your habitual pattern is. And that would that first step is the one of the biggest steps. So that first step can help you on your way. Recognize when you're doing something that you want to change. Rec and if you so and that's something that I actually help people with is what is your habitual pattern? Is it serving you? Is it not serving you? Do you want to change it? And then we figure out how to interrupt it like right so hopefully right before it starts, but in the beginning, you know, a pattern interrupt to like interrupt that habitual pattern and choose a, choose a new way to be. And then slowly starting to make that your new norm so that you don't sleepwalk through your life. You don't want to end up 40 years down the road and wonder where the time flew by to and wonder um, if what, if you did what you wanted to do. If there was something that you were hoping to achieve during that time in your life, well, now that time is gone. Why? What kept you from doing that thing? We do get in our own way a lot. We do get in our own way a lot. And it takes a bit of fortitude of will to be able to, to recognize, to get that awareness, to recognize that we are blocking ourselves. And then... Once you get that awareness, the next thing is to decide to change it. And then the next thing, there's three steps, is to do the thing you need to do, to take that first step to changing it. So awareness that you're doing it, hopefully in the moment. Um, yes, awareness, deciding to change it, and then taking some steps. Obviously, it's not going to be um, instant. It's not going to be a, oh my gosh, now everything's great and I do everything perfectly because as real life just happened a minute ago when someone phoned me, <laughs> real life, right? Real life is going to keep coming in and try and giving you a little knock to the side and knock this way, but you just keep bringing yourself back, keep bringing yourself back to this new pattern that you want. Um, and obviously, I mean, I, I, I have my own coach because I have my patterns. I have things that I 
do that I'm working on tweaking, adjusting, making even better, um, keeping myself on track, keeping myself accountable. Sometimes it's hard to be accountable to yourself. So um, until I exercise that accountability muscle more to myself, flex those accountability muscles, I have I have put things in place, people in place to help keep me accountable to me. And yes, over time, perhaps I, I will be, you know, a superpower. Well, I already am a superpower. And so are you, by the way. <laughs> but even, even all the superheroes needed superhero best friends, right? So it's okay that you don't have to do it all alone. That's my no person is an island episode. I can't remember what episode that was. You'll have to go back to it. But today, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a wake-up call, a permission slip to um, change the trajectory that you're taking for this year, if you want to. It always has to come from you, and then you put in the supports to help you get it, right? So my friend, that's my thought for this Wednesday. Ooh, tune in on Friday, speaking of changing your mindset. Friday is... Um, I'm just going to call him Drasco because I don't think I can, I would butcher his last name, but he is a coach who talks to coaches about how to up level their mind. But even if you're not a coach, have a listen, because there are things, there are nuggets in there of, you know, human behavior and what we, how we can sabotage ourselves and maybe how we can work around that. So check that out. And of course, if you are listening to the podcast on Apple, Google, Spotify, any of those platforms, I would give you giant hearts. Well, I'll give you giant hearts anyway. You know that. But giant hearts if you uh, give us a little review over there so that we can get some visibility and spend send more love into the world. And I do appreciate you tuning in, my friend, in whatever platform you are tuning in on. I'd be interested to know. Send me a DM. What platform is your favorite platform to listen on? This is Heather. This is the Back to Me podcast. This is you getting out of your own way. Wake up, my friend. Don't stop pressing snooze on your life. Let's go. Let's get you doing the things that you want to achieve in this life. Take care. Peace. See you again next week, my friends. Take care. Hi, my friend. Thanks so much for listening to this entire podcast. If you found it useful and you're like me and you like, like helping others, please feel free to share this. Just give it a like. Give it a comment. If you found something useful in it, there's a chance that someone else will find something useful as well. Also, if you have any questions at all, I can absolutely help and I would love to help, you can email me at heather at prosperityflowcoaching.com. If you want more of this awesome content, you can follow me on Instagram, Heather Stewart Coaching. You can follow me on Facebook, Prosperity Flow Coaching. And I have a personal request. I want to help as many people as I can with these podcasts. And if you could give me a review, hopefully a good one, <laughs> if you could share, if you could send this out into the world, I would truly appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope that you find your way to wellness by getting back to me. Take care, my friend.